I, I don't know why it happened, I guess. Um, I think you constantly try and analyse or kind of go, oh, what have I done to those people? Or um, try and put yourself in their shoes. And I've simply stopped doing that because um, I won't ever understand it. I've never sent anyone um, a nasty message myself or even slightly nasty. So I don't know. And I can't ever put myself in that position. Um, I guess I, I think the thing is uh, it comes part and parcel of a little bit with social media when you gain that amount of followers and unfortunately they are people on their keyboard warriors or that either want attention or something's not going right in their life so they use that um and obviously at the time I was 19 so it, it was really bad um I can fully say it has got a lot better since then and I do think there is a really positive and great side of social media um and i've certainly seen that over the past couple of years but look at you look at you was. you're you're fizzing and you're brimming with positivity which is lovely to see you i can see that right we can see that um that must have been a learning process for you rebecca uh, as well because not everybody can deal with this not that you should have to deal with it but you did deal with it yeah, and there was no coping strategy. There was no guides. Nobody handed me a manual and said, here's how you deal with all of this. It was just kind of a little bit of process, a little bit of learning, a little bit of growing up as well. Um, and part and parcel of it. I didn't always handle it probably in the right way. And um, there was many times that I was upset about it or let it bother me way too much than I probably should. But at the same time, I didn't know how else to deal with it. I just had to. Um, and I just had to find a well, way to kind of keep moving uh, forward. 